So this is pretty much a straight to the point uh, test on the Edimax AC1750 uh, external uh, USB dongle form factor Wi-Fi uh, router. And so essentially I got this because I've got a couple of old laptops that uh, just didn't seem to be really getting some great download speed. I've got a uh, Netgear Orbi, uh, it's a three satellite, um, I guess device uh, router network setup. Uh, it just comes as a kit, uh, I got from JB Hi-Fi, uh, reasonably priced, uh, but allows uh, beam forming. So, uh, and I thought the three transmit three receive on this, uh, which this is, uh, I guess um, beamforming enabled um, through the MIMO setup of the uh, of the RF, uh, I guess functionality, and so yeah. So anyway, I got this thing. I uh, wasn't really overly impressed when I plugged it in and set it up on the previous laptop, but I've had a second crack at it, and uh, this time round I've done a uh, a test without it. Uh, essentially, got uh, just with the um, this little laptop which is a Acer Aspire V11 Touch uh, it's pretty old school uh, I think it's got like a 2.4 gig uh, Wi-Fi chipset in it and uh, essentially was getting around uh, 20 to 25 megabit uh, upload and around I think 9 9 to 10 megabit download uh, correction uh, the other way around so um, upload of uh, 9 to 10 megabits and download of about 20 to 25 megabits um, I plugged this thing in, uh, uh, did a quick uh, device manager check. The drivers were all good. It said it was happy with it, had the latest ones. And then I had a crack at uh, doing a speed test and uh, and wasn't really impressed. It was actually performing worse on the up, uh, on the downlink. And I was getting in the order of um, three to five to seven megabits down, which was a massive change from the 20, uh, five that the inbuilt uh, chipset was giving me, um, but surprisingly on the uplink, uh, I think it's because of the uh, three transmit uh, paths it's got, uh, I was actually getting a pretty good um, uh, uplink and improved uplink speed of like uh, forty five percent thereabouts uh, of around fourteen to fifteen megabits. So anyway, I sort of thought I'll oh, look into it, have a bit of a um, check over their website and I did and I found some um, a software package to download so I downloaded it and uh, and essentially installed it restarted the computer and let me show you what the speed test looks like now all right we'll just do one so this is it the back there no glory So it's coming in pretty red hot. It was getting up to the 38s before. So usual best of three. So my phone I'm filming on has Wi-Fi turned off, so it's not competing. So that's not looking too bad. That's probably one of the better ones. And third time lucky. Let's go. And that's pretty much max of what I get on my phone. Uh, we're only on a 40 megabit uh, download plan uh, at the moment. So that's, I would say that's maxed out. So I would say since uh, installing the software uh, that, that, um, the latest software off the Edimax website uh, has definitely improved. And uh, so straight out the box, plugging in using Windows drivers is not the way to go. Uh, use the software that uh, comes with it or the, I'd go the latest from the Edimax website. So uh, yeah, so it definitely has improved the speed on this. And let me show you, I've just changed the Wi-Fi mode as well. It's not a long video. Disconnecting that.
So this is the stock standard chipset. Hmm. It's a little strange. All right, let's just rip this one out. Let's do it. Do it. Yep, there we go. And let's do a test again. So there you go. So a big difference. This is a little bit uh, performing a little bit uh, poorly compared to other tests that I've done of the native Wi-Fi chipset. Yeah, there you go. So that's the um, that's the native Wi-Fi chipset. And just showing you. Uh, as a final test that there's a massive improve and we were maxing out the uh, the internet connection to the household at that 42 megabits that we saw previous so yeah I guess it's a it's a it's a good to go um, device and definitely uh, improves the speed to any old uh, old uh, computer that has a um, an outdated uh, Wi-Fi chipset